Um, <laughs> so I started writing this project a long time ago. Um, my own family looks like the Burns family, and when my eldest son, who is here today, um, was like four years old, I just started thinking about what his life might be like and what kind of decisions he might make, and then I thought a little bit about the decisions that might be made for him. I think any parent <coughs> sort of has that dialogue in their head, and um, I just wanted to give them a thorny, awkward, difficult scenario um, to help them confront sort of who they are and what <coughs> that life is long. There are chapters. Uh, and yeah, and then I came to the project uh, through Jared, uh, who I knew through a mutual friend of mine, uh, uh, Craig Johnson, who directed a movie called The Skellin Twins that Jared produced. Uh, and uh, we, had a, we had like a lunch, and we were like, we should work together. And then actually, like weeks later, Jared actually had this script, and they were looking for a director uh, to direct it. And I just fell in love with it. Uh, I just found it such a personal, and it just rang true. I mean, it, considering how kind of outrageous it is at times, it still rang true to me, and that was exciting, that you could make a film that dealt with a lot of difficult, tricky issues, had some sort of absurd moments, but it still kind of felt real to me, uh, and I think that was based, you know, the strength of Annie's script and her story. If I could thank one other person who I see here today, our AC, Pedro, is here today, uh, who uh, did all the focus pulling for the film. Which was almost entirely handheld, so it's a very hard thing to keep your film in focus. So thanks. So this is like the, the second time that you've told a story about sort of this particular age child, sort of a preteen. Why do you think you are drawn to telling that age story? Because look how great they are. They're kids. Uh, I like working with young actors. I mean, I think that just excites me, and uh, it's such a critical period when you're like around middle school. Uh, where your brain's forming and making decisions. And you, I, I think I heard a podcast, at least, that our brains are really developing at that point where we could <laughs> go a number of ways. We could become different types of people. It's a real formative stage, more so than adulthood. And you're also not equipped with the kind of life experience and language and uh, understanding to deal with things that come your way. Even And the things that come your way feel very emotionally heightened. So it's just sort of a disaster slash exciting moment waiting to happen. And it's it, such a short range, it's, you know, maybe 11 through 17. Uh, so I just find that period interesting, but I also just like, I think if I weren't doing film, I might be like a camp counselor. So I just like <laughs> hanging out with kids and like making it fun. And uh, I don't know, did you have fun on set? You want to talk about your experience? Well, we, me and him, because he was in New York when I was in Los Angeles, because I'm from Los Angeles. So we had to do a um, Skype session from Los Angeles to New York and we didn't really do like the script we just talked a lot about the role and then he liked me and they flew me out to New York and we got started. Did you have time to work with Melanie and Nelson before and get to know each other in terms of just creating this family because you guys work so well together on screen? Oh uh, yeah well we got we got there how many days before we started shooting two, we get there? Maybe. Two okay. so we didn't do much rehearsal but um yeah it, was, it wasn't hard to get to know them. Do we have questions in the audience, right in the middle? So the question, just so everybody can hear, was for Armani, and the question, was it fun working on the set of the film? Yeah, it was really fun, because there were a lot of kids to interact with, because I've done some movies where I was like, not a lot of kids on set, so yeah, it was pretty fun. There was definitely like a market difference. There were like, there was a whole week, which was like the kids' week which is a whole different vibe on set and like the pool, the pool party where you guys could just hang out and basically have fun and we tried to kind of capture the moment. So I think the, those were sort of the most ones. When we were in the house, we were sort of trapped in that house for a week and there was nothing there and there was just all these blank walls and we, I think the whole crew and the cast went a little crazy, which is sort of how the family, it's sort of, you know, I realized in editing it, there's some sort of shining like quality <laughs> to this film in a sort of hopefully funnier way. But they're kind of just trapped in this kind of haunted house that starts to crumble and around. And where is that house, really? I was in Harrison, right? Harrison, New York. Uh, and we also shot in Newburgh, which I should point out, uh, there's a sort of growing... You want to talk about Newburgh? Talk about how great it is to film in Newburgh? Oh, it's Miranda. Oh, God, Miranda, come on up. Sorry, I didn't know you were coming. Everyone, Miranda McKeon, who plays Julie. Uh, Sorry, thank you, Jared. Are there any other actors that are here that I missed? I, we're gonna, it's late in the festival, so we're getting sloppy. Uh, 
So yeah, we have shot mostly in Harrison and Newburgh in New York City. And Newburgh, uh, I just want to point out, it's, it's right near Beacon. A lot of people don't know about it, but there's actually a lot of uh, film industry growing there. Uh, so we were lucky enough to shoot there and we got a lot of great locations and value out of that. Right. Miranda, do you want to tell us about learning the dance sequence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the dance we did, I think it was like maybe the second time I had been on set and that was the first time I saw Una actually. Um, and it was the other little, the other Yeah, Una who actor. plays Ambrosia. Um, so that was, of course it was like awesome and fun, but it was also like a really good time for us to bond together, because what's the best way to bond than doing a crazy dance together? <laughs> <laughs> other questions? <laughs> 